Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and in this After Effects tutorial, I will show you guys how to create some really cool looking typographic background inside of After Effects without using any plugins. This tutorial is highly inspired from a very hype author called Motion Kit. He has made this amazing template of really cool typographic background to which I'll provide the link in the description below. So let's try to recreate this in After Effects using some very simple steps. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. So before this tutorial starts, I want to introduce you guys to Create Pack, which is one of the amazing After Effects pack on VideoHive. Over 3600 plus fully responsive animation elements that automatically rescale for your composition, which you can preview and import with just one single click. Dozens of categories with everything you need to create some awesome motion graphics without wasting any time. Download the Create Pack from the link in the description below. Alright guys, here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's keep it 1920 by 1080 and make it 20 seconds long. Call this main as this is going to be our main composition. Hit OK. Let's create one more composition for our text. So for the size, I'll change this to 440 by 120. And call this text. Hit OK. Select the text tool and then you can of course type in anything that you want. I'm going to type in typo. Let's align it into the center. You can find this align tab into Windows Align. So here we have our text. Let's place it somewhere around here and just to give it a really cool look. I'm going to add a rectangle as an accent. Something like this should work. Also align it into the center again. Something like this. Okay. So there we have our text. Let's actually go into the main composition, drag and drop in our text. And then I'm going to use an effect called CC Reptile. So I'll go into the effects and preset. If you don't find this panel, you can again go into Windows and there you'll find it. So I'll type in CC Reptile, double click to apply that up and then expand the right and the left side to around 2000 by 2000. There we go. So now we can easily, you know, animate this. Let's place it onto the top using our align tab like that. Now what I can do is select it, hit control D to duplicate it. Actually, let's rename this first of all. Let's call this O1. Hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, put this below and then move this layer just like that. Select this again, hit Ctrl D, make sure you select the third one, move that and create few copies. So I'm going to create around 10 copies. So there we go, there we have 10 copies. Now what I can do is select all of them and click on this icon to align them properly. There we go. Now let's go ahead and animate them. So I'll go at the very beginning, select the first one, third one, sixth one, um, fifth one actually, seventh one and the ninth one. Hit P to bring down the position properties. Also I can change the colors actually so we can you know differentiate between them. So make them red. Click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe, go to 20 seconds and then move them holding shift to the right, to the left actually, just like that. Then let's close them all up, select the second one and you know the alternatives. Hit P, create a keyframe. Oh, actually make sure your time indicator is at the beginning, create a keyframe. Let's go to 20 seconds and then move them to the right. So now we have a very nice and simple animation as you can see, looks pretty cool. Let's close them all up and create a new null object. I'm going to just align it into the center and parent all the layers to this null. So I'll click right here, go into columns and parent and link, select them all and pattern them 
to this null and then I can rotate this to around let's go with minus um, 15 should work good okay maybe let's go with plus 15 yep that looks much better then select all the composition or all the layers hit ctrl shift c to precompose them and I'll call this pattern hit ok so there we have our pattern now let's go ahead and add a cc cylinder and there we go there we have this really cool effect let's set the render to outside and then scale this up a bit so maybe around 120 should work yep that looks good and now you can see right off the bat we get this really cool pattern this looks very nice so let's actually go into the text again and add some nice color to this so i'll make it something like a nice purple color same for this shape layer as well there we go and then let's jump into the light section of the cc cylinder i'll increase the intensity to around 120 and let's make it a bit more kind of an orangish light maybe reddish actually something like that looks great let's increase the height to 30 and set this to minus 90 so you get this really nice reflection you can also go into the shadings and maybe i'll increase the diffuse to around 70 and also the specularity all the way up to let's say yep all the way up to 100 looks good so you can see this is looking pretty cool and then i can simply duplicate this at control d and then move this holding shift to the right to the left actually well, i don't know why i'm getting confused so let's move it to the left and i'll place it just so that it perfectly lines up with the other cylinders hit ctrl d and place this one to the right and there we go holding shift so now we get this really cool pattern as you can see it looks absolutely cool i think now before we proceed further with this tutorial i would like to take a minute and introduce you guys to videohive.net the motion graphic junkies like me are ought to know about videohive but if you don't know it yet no worries i'll make sure you just not know about it but also get the most out of it so VideoHive is a part of Envato market which is a huge marketplace for creative assets in which VideoHive specifically provides assets related to motion graphics. At VideoHive, you are exposed to a sheer number of motion graphics sampled for After Effects, Premiere Pro, Cinema 4D, Final Cut Pro that you can also purchase to use in your projects and make them look super professional and attractive as you can. To be specific, you can find titles, openers, lower thirds, elements, infographics, logo strings, overlays, transitions, slideshows, and much more. So make sure to check out davidhive.net. The link will be in the description below. Also, I can create a new null object, align it into the center and align all these three layers to this null. And then I can simply just rotate it to give it a bit more, you know, cool look and scale this up and there we go a really cool type of typographic background inside of after effects and you can see this looks super cool you can also you know rotate it into different angles to give it a really interesting look so i can maybe rotate it like that you know just play around and experiment with this style and the best part is that you can go into the text and I can also animate the text to make it look even more cooler. So let's say I'll do a simple animation of position. So I'll go to around maybe two seconds, create a keyframe on the position, go back, bring this out, go to maybe four seconds and copy paste this keyframe, control C, control V and hold alt and click on the stopwatch to add, a, add an, to add an expression of a loop to make this animation loopable. So loop out, open and close parentheses so basically we have a very you know simple animation i think it's a bit too slow so i'll just bring them closer by holding alt and just dragging them just like that so now we have something like that let's 
actually select it, hit F9. And now if I go into a background main comp, actually, you can see we get some really cool looking background animation. So you can use this technique in a number of different ways to create some really cool look. You can see, super cool. And using the same CC cylinder, you can create, you know, kind of a different look. So let's try that out as well. So I'll delete this patterns for now, delete this null as well. Actually rotate this back again to zero and align it into the center. Not actually center, but let's actually scale this down also by 120 and align it like so. Maybe I'll go this time with 130. I'll place it right here, hit control D to duplicate it and place one right over here, just like so. And this time I'm gonna switch this to the inside and let's rotate this. I'll go into rotation and maybe I'll just rotate this up till I find the right angle. Maybe something like this should work. Let's see. Let's actually remove the animation for now. And let's see what we'll maybe I'll tweak this up a bit so it aligns up. Actually, I think we will scale this up a bit. So maybe make this 140. Also, I'll go into the patterns and bring the rotation to zero. So we get a nice flat look and then I'll adjust this. So the patterns, you know, aligned up with each other properly. Maybe let's see. Yeah. Maybe using the arrow keys a bit to line that up. There we go. And this should work pretty good. And then all together, you can scale them up a bit. But I think this is looking pretty cool. Then I can simply select this at control D and pull this one right here. Select this one, hit control D and pull this one right here. And now you can see right off the bat, we get a really different look and it looks absolutely crazy and cool. So yeah, it's kind of a quick tip on creating some nice cool typographic background animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, then make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram at dope.motion. Recently, I've started posting some micro blogs, which you guys may find it helpful and I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw. Stay creative. Peace out.